Hold it a second, Mr. Hamilton. Thank you, sir. Wow. 200,000 more. Looks as though somebody was out to break the Worldwide Insurance Company. That is unimportant. Mr. Crane and I, as the principal stockholders, bear the brunt of the loss. The vital thing is that this sabotage and arson is being directed at war industries. Any clue to the conspirators? Yes. My father received some startling information from the masked marvel. The masked marvel? Do you know his identity? Come on, Mr. Crane. Give us the lowdown. I prepared a statement which will give you all the information we can release at the moment. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at this. I can just catch your afternoon broadcast with this. Come on, fellas, let's go. The masked marvel, ace undercover agent, whose identity is unknown, has discovered evidence that Mura Sakima, formerly Tokyo representative of the Worldwide Insurance Company and secretly head of the Japanese espionage service, is somewhere in the United States. Mr. Hamilton will deliver to the masked marvel documents containing secret information about Sakima, which will undoubtedly assure his early apprehension. There's news for you, folks. Japan's master spy in our midst. And the masked marvel, nemesis of crime and criminals on his trail. The masked marvel who smashed the greatest crime ring the world has ever seen. Don't ask me who he is. I'd like to know. Hitler would like to know who he is. Perhaps Mr. Sakima wishes he knew, too. Perhaps Sakima will know. Very soon. I don't like it. When the mass marvel goes after a man, he's finished. The marvel learns everything and strikes from nowhere. I'm going to get... You are going to continue to obey my orders, are you not, Mr. Mace? Yes, sir. That is better. We are going to see to it that neither Mr. Hamilton nor his precious papers leave the city. Bye, Alice. Hold it. Get that briefcase. And now I'll take care of you, Mr. Hamilton. Warren Hamilton, president of the Worldwide Insurance Company, was carried to his last resting place today. Prominent among the mourners was Martin Crane, vice president of the company and lifelong friend of Mr. Hamilton. Mr. Crane, who shot down one of the assassins, solemnly swore that all responsible for the murder would be brought to justice. Very touching. Let us hope that you are not a true prophet, Mr. Crane. Well, I had to say what was expected of me. Exactly. And your bit of gunplay put you beyond all suspicion. Your position is now secure. And from it, you will continue to point out when and where we can strike most effectively to break down the United States war production. What about the mass marvel? He will be helpless without the evidence which you took from Hamilton. Yes, Megs? All right, put her on. It's Alice Hamilton. Yes, my dear, what can I do for you? Mr. Crane, I just finished speaking to the masked marvel. The masked marvel? He expects us to meet him at my house tonight at 8. But what can he do without your father's secret documents? He asked me to look in father's safe for copies, and I found them there. Photostatic reproductions of all those papers. In, in that event, I shall certainly be there. Goodbye, my dear. It seems we have the job to do all over again. Those papers must be removed before the masked marvel arrives. How are you, my dear? Have you heard anything more from the masked marvel? No, it isn't quite time yet. Have you the documents here? Yes, I'll get them. That 
must be the masked barber. Get your hands up. Why, he's the man who murdered Dad. That's right. And unless you do as you're told, the same thing will happen to you. What do you want? I want those documents. Get them out of there. I will not. All right. It's your own funeral. Better do as he says, Alice. It'll kill both of us. Help. I took care of the butler. Did you ring Miss Hamilton? The mass marble! I'll be back. Don't leave the house. I thought you were the masked marvel. I'm Frank Jeffers. I was told to meet him here. Oh, come in, please. But the masked marvel just left. He said he'd be back. If he said so, you can depend on it. I'm Alice Hamilton, and this is Martin Crane, Mr. Jeffers. How do you do? How do you do? Come into the library, please. Terry Martin, what are you doing here? Oh, well, Frank, I came to meet the Mass Marvel. Miss Hamilton, this is Terry Morton. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Hamilton? Yeah, Mr. Crane, Terry. How do you do? How do you do? Come in, please. Your hats, gentlemen. Oh! Why, well, these are the documents that were just stolen. Well, this is from the Mass Marvel. It says. You will receive my explanation and instructions within a few minutes. Well, it must be the masked marvel this time. Mr. Robert Barton and Mr. James Arnold to see the masked marvel. This is the rest of the gang. Miss Hamblin, Mr. Crane, Bob Barton, Jim Arnold. How do you do, sir? How do you do? How do you do? How to meet you. The Masked Marvel sent this to me to give to you. The Masked Marvel? Thank you. Why, it's a phonograph record. This is the Masked Marvel speaking, Miss Hamilton and Mr. Crane. The four young men who are present are ace investigators. Summoned for the purpose of working with me to avenge the death of Warren Hamilton and destroy Mura Sakima and his followers, who are attempting to break down United States war production. I shall remain unknown to all of you except Miss Hamilton, who will convey my instructions to you whenever necessary. Miss Hamilton, please give the investigators your father's documents to study, and they are to meet here at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning to plan their campaign. That is all. His instructions seem to cover everything. Here are my father's papers. I hope they'll help track down the murderers. Good night, gentlemen. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. I wonder how the masked marvel will make himself known to me. I don't know. But I'm sure you can trust him to keep his word. Well. I must be going. Good night, Alice, my dear. Good night, Mr. Crane. 
Good night, Matthews. Good night, sir. Yes, Miss Hamilton. I'm sorry I startled you. We've met before. I'm one of the four men who just left here. But your voice. That is part of my disguise. Before I remove my mask, I want your promise never to reveal my identity to anyone, not even to mention my name. You have my word. The information in these papers deals with Sakima's former activities and the names and descriptions of his associates. Two of them, Jansen and Brill, were last reported in this city, so we're going to try and check up on them. Perhaps the man who killed my father was one of them. Here's a sketch I made of him. Why, that's Killer Mace. Big time racketeer. Escaped from an Eastern Penitentiary last year. Now we have three suspects to look for. Jim, you and Terry get on Brill's trail. And Frank and I will try and locate Jansen. He was last reported working for the Patio Pottery Company. I'm an investigator. What floor is the pottery company on? Sixth floor. Do you work there? No, I'm just making a delivery. Okay, thanks. I'll go up and look the place over, Frank. You wait here.
My car was wrecked completely and Mace escaped. By the time I got back to the pottery plant, Frank had searched it thoroughly. He found two containers like the ones in the truck, and we had the liquid in them analyzed. Did you find any other clues? Only this in Jansen's pocket. It looks like a code message, and I think it's important because it's dated today. September 13th, S20, Z9, P3. I think we'd better turn it over to the masked marvel. If anyone can decode it, he can. And it might give him a clue to Sakima. Jensen's death was very untimely. But, fortunately, I know how to use his compound. Are you sure it'll work? Positive. Nitrolene plus gas plus heat makes a highly explosive combination. Mace will have no difficulty in getting this compound into the gasoline storage tanks. And we know this gasoline is to be shipped to the Russian and British Air Forces. As soon as a plane using this fuel is thoroughly warmed up, it will be blown to atoms. Well, if your explanation is correct, what possible connection can there be between an air raid post and Sakima's agents? We'll find out when we question the warden of Sector 20, Zone 9, Post 3. Nobody home. The mask marble. What happened? Three fellows held me up. They took my helmet and armband. They left about five minutes ago. Any war plants on your post? Uh, no. Only the abandoned illuminating gas works in Keller Street. It's been converted into a storage tank for gasoline. Gasoline? That must be it. Take care of it. Practice alert, just checking on your lights. Well, we're always blacked out here, Warden. So I see. Do you mind if I use your phone to make a report? Not at all. Right this way. that stuff into the tank as fast as you can. I'll stand guard.
Hold it. Finish off the marble and get away quick. That'll take care of him and the Lendley's gasoline, too. You can't do that. Spike's up there. Run, you fool. 